Hey, what's up you guys? I'm hanging out here with Drake Christopher, aka Catching Your Tigers. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, just uh, hanging out in my room. Is it, is it Catching Your Tigers? That's Catching Your uh, Squirrels. Squirrels? Yeah. I like squirrels. I do too. <laughs> now, his real name is actually Catching Your Clouds. And where are you from, man? I'm from Bryan, Arkansas. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you were a porn star, what porn star name would you choose for yourself? El Tigre. El Tigre? <laughs> What's one thing you hate about yourself? Uh, one thing? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Only list one. I know you have hundreds, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of short for my age. For. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, like, I feel like I'm kind of short. Uh, and I guess I, I hate that I can't, I can't really talk to girls that well either. <laughs> Yeah, you being as short as you are all the way down there, I can see how that would, that would be a problem. There's a lot of girls out there. Do you think you are a ladies' man? Hell no. Why not? <laughs> um, because I can't talk to them. Like, uh, that's... I mean, I, I don't know. I write cute songs. I guess they're uh, more heartfelt than cute. I don't think I'm, like, the ugliest spawn of existence. I'm just not good at talking to me. <laughs> I think kidding. you're beautiful. Aww. Thank you. Well, I think your shirt is beautiful. Thank you. It's Scott Pilgrim. I stole it from Liam. I would like you to say, I like the way you strut that ass in a southern accent. Well, I like the way you strut that ass. <laughs> say damn in a southern accent. Damn! <laughs> All right, I got to put them together. Damn, I like the way you strut that ass. Meow. <laughs> Come on, Dre, you do it. Damn, I like the way you strut that ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, high five on that one. Catching your clouds. What's your music about and why do my fans need to check you out? The beginning of this year is when I started Catching Your Clouds and I was just like really writing about a lot of stuff that I had kind of bundled up and, you know, it was just like, I like to write it first, but I mean, putting music to it just gives it a whole new experience. Like it, it gives it a new vision in my eyes and uh, it kind of helps like, Put a puzzle piece together. What's one message from your music that really comes through? Um. Uh, fuck the people who try to uh, ruin your life by uh, starting rumors or, you know, try to like break you, uh, you and your girlfriend or you and your boyfriend up. That are trying to. Can we start over? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> There's one message from your music, Drake. What what is it? Like what really shines through in all your songs? Um, it's really about like uh, kind of to bring the pe bring people together and uh, really um, kind of set forward a motion where we can, you know, connect and. Uh... Fuck, dude. It's okay. It's okay. Keep going. <laughs> like, um, Wait, one more. Take three. <laughs> Drake, what is one message? Just keep it simple. What's one message that really shines through in your music? Um, the balance of love and hate. It's about pretty much not realizing that the whole world is about peace and it's not really about war either. It's about kind of keeping a connection into... What's your girliest feature? My hair. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to get that thing like that? Sometimes I'll straighten it. Sometimes I'll just throw a hat on. Wow, okay. Speaking of hats, uh, what is this right... Is that a buffalo hat? It is. It's a... Can, can I wear this hat? Yeah. Please? Yes, you can. Pretty please? Okay, hold this real I quick. I insist. Oh. I have plenty of hats. On a scale of 1 to 10, how beautiful am I right now? 11. Thank you. Oh, that looks sweet, too. Is that like a dead squirrel? or? It's a wolf. Oh, it's a wolf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, exactly, that's exactly what a wolf sounds that's like. The, that's the sound wolves make, right? <laughs> right. Sorry, I got distracted by this. Beautiful. Can you guys see this? Hi. <laughs> Come here, Drake. Show me your hat. See, as you can see, I'm a buffalo. And <laughs> what are you? I'm a wolf. I, okay, I have to make a, what a buffalo sounds. <laughs> now, what's your sound? <laughs> the fuck is going on? All right, all right, all right. Who do you think you were in a past life, and what did you do? Like your spirit or your, your essence? I was probably a judo trainer. Yeah. So you're a fighter. Uh, no. Oh, I just. I just go on missions and assassinate like people who, who, like I don't know, do bad interviews. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Fuck, I'm in the wrong place right now. <laughs> See you guys.
I was a, uh, a judo, no, I was a karate master who defended people who were going to be assassinated by the judo people. Well, Aha. it doesn't matter because I'm a ninja in the past life. Alright, you ready? Yeah. You already hit me, man. Oh, f What house would you be in if you were in Harry Potter? Slytherin. Why? Because he's a snake. Like, I thought Ooh, you were a, what, whatever, a wolf. Yeah, I know, but like, who the fuck wants to be in Gryffindor? Like, Gryffindor is all good, nice. I'd be like one of those awesome... Oh, hell no. <laughs> what are you talking about? You'd be in Hufflepuff. Uh... <laughs> I can huffle my puff. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you can rave in your claw. <laughs> I can rave in your claw. I'll griff in your door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slither your in. <laughs> I'll slither inside your in. What was high school like for you? Uh, It was a pain in the ass. I dropped out and got a GED and uh, the reason for that is because uh, where I lived like um, it was just really small like I, I come from kind of the middle of nowhere and so it's a really judgmental state there's a lot of uh, really iffy people there and high school is just a really sensitive subject to me because it's yeah it's a it was a really dark time in my memory and uh, I'm really glad that I'm out of it now and kind of doing something else something that more justifies who I am what advice would you give to our viewers who are also having a hard time with high school? Don't listen and find a good group of friends, preferably with people who are really big, that will protect you. And we have buffalo hats. Yeah. You think we would have been good friends if we went to high school? You and I? Yeah. Absolutely. I think, yeah, dude. I think so. I think I would have given you a hat and we just kicked it off. Went to Subway every day. With this. <laughs> we would just kick back with a Subway sandwich, a girl in each arm. <laughs> and a dog on our leash. I've heard there's nothing quite like the friendship between a buffalo and a wolf. <laughs> I've actually never heard that from anybody. Mm. Yeah, you're looking pretty horny right now. I am looking pretty horny right now. <laughs> what do you want to be written on your gravestone when you die? Like one phrase. Finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. If you could bang any Disney princess, who would you bang? That's so good. Captain uh, Hook, really? Captain Hook. Hey. It's kind of weird, man. Uh, that'd be kinky. That would be. Like, like... <laughs> I hear Captain Cook's into bondage. <laughs> he likes it rough. Probably Tinkerbell. Yeah? Yeah. You'd bang Tinkerbell. Dude, you would destroy. She's so small. <laughs> what if she was, like, bigger, though? Like... Okay. I'll be Peter Pan. I'd bang Peter Pan. You would? <laughs> yeah. I would, uh. I mean, well, that makes me sound like a creeper. <laughs> he never grows up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Grown up Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think there's a movie just, about that. Just, yeah, there is. A, it's like called Hook. Yeah. Yeah. Peter Pan is actually a terrible answer now that I think about it. <laughs> he's a boy forever. You're growing up, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come up with a new name for you, because Catching Your Clouds, well, let, let's just put, pretend that that doesn't exist. So we're just going to add the next word to the name. So, dancing. Rockets. Farting. House. All right, there you go. You're dancing rockets, <laughs> farting house. You like it? I do. What's the gayest moment you've ever had? I used to make sock monkeys with my friend. That's pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> I was really... <laughs> I was really little. I drink beer and I like women with a big ass. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> Round thing in my face. <laughs> you get sprung. Ah! Mm. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty manly, right? It is. What pop song should start playing when you walk into a room? Firework by Katy Perry. <laughs> Baby, you're a firework. Here, you gotta walk it. Ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to sing it for you. Because, baby, you're a firework. Come on, let's show your dancing kind of sucks. No offense, fence, fence. That wasn't very good. Okay, then you got to pick a song for me. Paparazzi. You think my song is, is what? <laughs> it's paparazzi. All right, well, you got to sing it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Woo! Baby, famous, chase you down until you love me. Papa, paparazzi. Baby, there's no other superstar you know that I'll be. No, just stop. <laughs> was, was, it, was it that bad? No, it was just too beautiful. I couldn't take it. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was doing like the wave and the spank. Oh, no, dude, I have to change my pants after that. <laughs> Third time this interview, Drake. You're going to name your... <coughs> hmm. What would you name it? The sound hole. 
<laughs> sound hole? What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I think you should name it like it just door makes a bang when you come in. <laughs> 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 that made me sound like a chick. Wow. <laughs> makes a bang when you go in. There we go. I mean, I'm not like I'm not like the hey, hey nice shoes want to fuck kind of person. Like you know, that's me. <laughs> You're more of a nice titties want to fuck kind of guy. Absolutely. What does your brother think of all this? I uh, I don't really I don't really, I haven't really kept in touch with them much since I moved away. Um. I think uh, he kind of looks up to me. I don't think that's a good idea, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly the best person to look up to. And why is that? Um, because I dropped out of school to do music. But you've given it up. You've given up everything to do this. So yeah. to everyone watching, what are we like speaking an alien? Yep, <laughs> making up our own language. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> dun, 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 Thank dun. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> What's the biggest misconception about you? Mm, I would tell you if I knew what that meant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is what is something everyone thinks that's not true? Mm. I dumped it down for you there, buddy. <laughs> it's really hot in here. I'm going to... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> We're going to get all serious. No more buffalo hats. No more. All right. <laughs> no more games. People say a lot of things about you, right? What is, what's one thing a lot of people say that's not true? A lot of people compare me to Christopher Drew, and I'm just going to throw that out there right now. And uh, it really sucks. I really hate it. I understand it. I totally ag agree why people would think of that, like, it's it's not true. I mean, my biggest inspirations are really, like, Play Radio Play and Motion City Soundtrack, and it just, it's, it's really, it really kind of, like, sucks when people compare me to him, because, like, you know, I, I like him, I respect him as an artist, I think he's a really good artist, it's just like, when I hear people compare me to him, it feels like people aren't understanding what I'm trying to do here is actually like, it's it's a reality in my life. Fill in the blank, first thing that comes to mind, the most important thing in the world to me is... Music. And... Ryan Stars. That, that's not, that's, that's two Shh. words. Stars. B B.S. BS. <laughs> the most important thing to me is BS. I would never, ever, 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 ever do this. I've always told myself that I'm not going to sell out no matter where I make it. I have no ambition of changing it. All my inspirations to my genre are based on this genre that I'm doing right now. So, so we won't see you in Slipknot. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Okay. Or the next Britney Spears. Or the next Justin Bieber. I can't promise the Britney Spears one. I'm addicted. <laughs> are you toxic? I'm toxic. He's too high, he can't come down. Uh, right now, I really wish I had... A van. Because, um, a van? A van, because, uh, well, like, oh, it really bus. sucks to get... A <laughs> yeah, school bus. <laughs> I wish I had something I could capture all the little kids that I pick up in. Yeah, <laughs> have Peter Pan in there for me. <laughs> It'd be nice to have a van to kind of, like, get around and play shows in different states. Especially, like, get around. <laughs> get around. Throw the get around, you know. Get around. <laughs> uh, Stir the pot. <laughs> I just like to get around in my van, you know. It's like driving a van like that. I want a van that, that's how you make it go. I like to get around in my van, you know what I'm saying? Something I have to do every day is... I love video games. Uh, I play a lot of Xbox. I, I actually... Um, Skyrim just came out, and I've been really excited. Excited on playing that. Excited. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now you sound like a nerd. I don't <laughs> love playing my video games. This is who you're visiting right now. Yeah. The sexiest person in the world, probably. Introduce Liam. Uh, this is Liam. He is the artist for Catching Your Clouds. He does the shirt designs and stuff, and uh, staying at his house right now. Hi, Liam. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. What is Drake addicted to? Man smell. <laughs> what is Drake addicted to? Well, meth first off. But <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> and me. I mean, he won't leave me alone. I've tried. Will you shut up and get back in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Liam is my bitch. Because he loves drawing other people's dicks. <laughs> Is this true, Liam? I would pay to. Yeah. <laughs> Drake, or actually, you start. Drake farts in my pants. <laughs> 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 
Because you asked to. <laughs> <laughs> So I have this thing that I do with bands. Uh, I have them draw each other, but since there's no one else here, I'm going to draw you, and you're going to draw me. All right? Does that sound okay? Sounds great. Liam is going to hold the mic while we do this. Ready, Liam? And commentate. All right. Give us a countdown. Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready, Drake? Yeah. Three. <laughs> Two, oh one, go. Yeah, hold that face. Oh, that's so that's so fine. That's yeah. Just hold the mic right here. Yo, yeah. Ooh, scream, baby. Wow. I've been known to draw a Peter Pan from time to time. <laughs> oh, three. A two. One. One. All right, all right, Drake. Let's go show yours to the camera. And I have to sort of duck down here. All right, so make sure. Okay, show us yours. Oh wow, what? Describe it. Um, well, uh, that's that's you, and that's your ears, and that's your nose, and that's your blue hoodie, and that's a nuclear bomb. But I don't know why it's it, it's gonna turn away on this rainbow that wow. I drew. Wow. Can I can I see it? Show it to me real quick. I do not look anything like that. This is Drake Christopher. As you can see, he looks way better than he actually does. I think I did him a favor. Can you read it? <laughs> what I said? I'll catch your clouds. I'll catch your clouds, baby. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says, I'll catch your clouds, baby. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Come here. Let's finish with a goofy face on the count of three. Are you ready? Yeah. One, Mississippi. Two, three. We should probably get closer. <laughs> oh my god. Where'd you go? I'm dead. Any last words? Um, <laughs> that's my hand right here. Uh, whenever you're like running on those Mario levels, and uh, you're trying to like, trying to like make it across where the fish are jumping, yeah, like don't keep jumping when you go across them, because like if you do, there'll always be that one fish that jumps right above you and it'll hit you on the side and you'll be like, fuck! Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. We're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? no. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear bra ha, 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 ha. I am a ninja. You need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's... Oh, God, oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, whee! All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars. Brian Stars. I'm the reason you're you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.